I used to prepare for UPS examinations, man. Three to four years I prepared, I read all those books, class 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and every other Lakshmi Khan polity and bullshit things. I did study, I watched the YouTube videos, made notes, everything. Why? Even after having a nice job, I did that just to have a secure future. So that my kids, my children, my wife would always be well fed. I didn't do it for myself. Fuck it. Why would I want to be the guy? I did it for my children and my kids. So they would just not be lost. But I didn't secure that. And that put me into one step behind. Hey, God sent me that you cannot do this. You have to follow the hard path. I said, okay. See, we as an Indian community will always follow certain traits which are given by the Western community. It will always remain the same. It's, it's a certain type of brainwashing which has been done. Uh, we cannot escape it. It's, it's going to be there. It's a very strong uh, brainwashing techniques. Uh, it exists in everyday life. It exists everywhere. And we cannot escape that. You as an Indian likes like the white guys, white girls. And uh, it was not like that before. We recognize them, but then we always used to marry off somebody from our community. Somebody we used to like, we used to feel more inclined towards people and all. But that's kind of reduced now, okay? See, it's not about talking to a girl and making a girlfriend. I could do that right now. I have talked to a lot of girls, man. I have, I'm a fucking old guy. I have talked to lots of girls, man. I know what to send, what to say. I could just make a girlfriend in a few days if I want to. Yeah, 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 man, yeah. It's not that difficult, but the fact is why? I have been celibate like seven years, eight years now. Can you believe it? And with semen retention also going on, I feel powerful. I feel huge amount of strength in me. There is a depressive and moderately uh, weird thoughts as well, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's helping me. So that's why I'm saying you. it's going to help you as well. When you retain your seed inside you, it's going to protect you and it's going to help you. I'm going to explain you how. But before that, I'm going to say that it's, it's not about getting a girl. You dress up well, you do something, you get a girl. And she's going to look good. She's going to do things. You get a girl, you eat food, you have sex and all those things. It's not about that. It's about your future in marriage. How are you going to ensure you will lead an enriching, happy life? You yourself are having sex with so many girls. She's also having sex with so many girls. How are you going to pair bond with each other? How are you going to pair bond and have that enrichment and then procreate children and be uh, a well parent, a nice parent? It's very difficult. It's very difficult. I'm not, I'm not against dating and all. You guys do whatever the fuck you want to do. But then there are certain things when in this tradition, it's, it's more deteriorative. It's more difficult. And... Uh, Maybe it will change, maybe it will not, but I, I'm sure that will change. But until at certain time, we will always keep on following the Western ideologies until it will collapse. And then it will be the rise of the Eastern nations and India will be on top of them. We will eventually follow what was being practiced in the past. We will follow those things. We will not go on the narratives, but that will be the need of the situation and you will do it. Uh, there is a book <clears throat> on semen retention. This is not the book. I had notes on that. The book name is uh, Science and Discoveries of uh, Psychological Value of Continents by R. W. Bernard. I would just want you to have a read to that book. It's about, uh, it's a PDF book. You'll find it. Science Discoveries. Science Discovers the Psychological Value of Continents, Part 1 by R. W. Bernard. And I'm just going to read a few things from that book. It's It says, our semen has lecithin and phosphate which helps the brain spermine it's a gray matter in the brain nucleoproteins our brain needs these and that semen has that and when we retain it it's gonna keep in our body and protect us and revolve all our body and help the brain alcohol tea and coffee is bad which irritates the blood and uh, uh, create lot of inflammations and which results in cancer it's part from the book i'm not reading that from somewhere else Erection is also not good due to erotic ideas or uh, lascivious publications. People did used to have such kind of things long back. Remember the time when you were a child? Were you having erections like that? There was no material to which you will get incited upon. We were in living in moderations. Orgasms called issues. Spinal cord, myelin sheath, 
eating egg yolks will help your brain. I just made some notes. I'm just reading out to you. Female loss can cause many diseases and impotence, epilepsy, idiocy, idiocy, spermatoria, gonorrhea. Gonorrhea, it was unbelievable that it could cause gonorrhea. Cancer as well, memory and arsenic compounds. So what does conservation of semen does? It helps the nervous system. It calms us down. Helps with the mental disorders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have had some past mental disorders. Yeah, it's going to help you with SR. Endocrine glands. The whole organism is being uplifted. The prostate gland as well. Calcium and phosphorus has been reduced in the body when we release the semen. There are a lot of high intellectual persons who did continents. Mozart, Newton. It excites the brain. See how energetic I am right now. Why I am being energetic? Of what reason is it? Am I getting a girl? Am I getting a nice food? No, it's like the by default state of mind. So there were also several communities in the past where this concept was there. It's it's in uh, various Australian community, African community. In fact, in Indian community as well, there were uh, the, the the there was huge control on the females. They were not allowed the company of opposite sex uh, until marriage and the pregnancy and lactation as well. Can you believe it? Meat was not being consumed and uh, it was uh, being said it causes the state of sexual excitations feasting the meat, which is true. And it was punishable offence also and Australian Obgerines has strict laws. Even no conversation was being done. And illegitimate births of a civilization greater than the prevalence of creates a greater prevalence of prostitution. More in town Promiscuity is product of civilization. So yeah, I would want you to have a look at this book. It's going to be helpful. And uh, I believe that while you are on the course of semen retention, not anything else, you will improve yourself. I'm saying out of my facts only. You will uh, receive so much good deeds, so much good benefits. And uh, you will not do it. You would not do the sexual part, man. You would be a better man. You would just not waste it. You will get so much amount of female attention. They would like you. If you don't do it, you find some love and all. You go on with your life. Uh, it's going to affect It's gonna affect you. But if you are retaining your powerful fluid, it's going to lead a very healthy marriage. It's going to reverse anything fuck up which you have done. Celibacy and semen retention is going to reverse the fuck ups you have done in your life. It's going to lead you to a better man and to a healthy life, better marriage. Your wife and girlfriend will always be happy with your situations without sex, just by your company.